All right, welcome to uh, what is to be the first video on my new channel uh, called Canadian Guns and Gear. Um, today we're going to be doing a review of the Phobus, uh, full plastic, uh, poly type plastic uh, handcuff case from Phobus. Um, I purchased this, this off uh, Handcuff Warehouse, um, so we're going to be doing a review of that today. Um, in front of you, um, right now I have two pairs of handcuffs. Uh, right here is Smith & Wesson. M300 hinged handcuffs in silver. Um, I required those a little while ago. Um, I got these for free actually. Um, someone gave them to me. You can purchase them off uh, Handcuff Warehouse or other places online or locally if you uh, have a police equipment store around you. Um, I believe those are still available. Um, they're the M300. I also have the M100 Smith & Wesson uh, chain handcuffs which uh, are in the blue finish. Um, I think I got these off eBay. Um, again, available on uh, different places such as Handcuff Warehouse and eBay and uh, several other locations. Um, this is just an old um, Uncle Mike's uh, holster I've had for a while, actually. I had to do a little modification to actually fit the handcuffs into themselves. Uh, as for that, I don't know where I got it. Uh, we won't be doing a review on that today. So, um, as you can see here, this is the Phobus uh, plastic, poly type plastic uh, handcuff case. Uh, I purchased this off um, Handcuff Warehouse for, I believe, in the range of $20 to $30, about $25 or so, um, plus shipping and handling, obviously. So I think it came to about $30 and change or 30 something, um, which isn't bad for a uh, uh, half decent quality um, handcuff case. Um, as for the design, um, it's completely uh, the poly polymer type plastic. Um, it's riveted together. Um, obviously, it's in several pieces. It's non-adjustable. Um, the back and the front are connected with uh, these rivets here. Um, it's got a belt loop. Um, this specific model comes in two different uh, options, I believe. One with the actual belt loop that the belt goes and through here it has two different uh, options for belts. Um, the other one has a almost kind of plate that can go um, over pants or a belt um, which will be able to be taken off without actually uh, unrooting it through the belt which uh, can be good for kind of conceal, concealing the handcuffs themselves but um, could theoretically fall out or be removed a lot easier um, depending on what you want. I got the uh, one with the actual belt loop, loop itself, um, so I can wear it on the belt. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the uh, handcuffs in it. Um, the one drawback I found with this holster is it actually does not um, fit the M300 style uh, Smith & Wesson handcuffs. Um, if you can see, there's a little bump uh, right here. Um, where the actual uh, chain connects to the handcuffs and it won't actually get past that. I'll show you that in a second. As for uh, peerless handcuffs, um, probably ASP and uh, the Smith & Wesson M300 hinged. Um, it does fit them. Um, it's nice and snug. Um, it uses a retention uh, style plastic. Uh, um, there's no snap so the idea is that when you put it in the actual tension of the plastic is going to retain the handcuffs themselves as you can see here if i were to give this a good enough fling they would end up coming out but uh, the plastic itself is uh has enough tension to actually retain the handcuffs themselves from from falling out um, it would be safe for uh probably running and anything else that you'd uh, usually see um, they will come out eventually if i give them enough uh of a shake um, but as for that, they uh, stand pretty well. Um, I'll show you here the Smith & Wesson M100 handcuffs, which actually don't fit in due to the uh, due to the little bump here. We'll get past this a little bit here. But other than that, uh, it does fit the M300 uh, Peerless and I think ASP style handcuffs and uh, most other generic uh, or general brands of handcuffs, it does fit. So that was a bit of a disappointment that doesn't actually fit the uh, M100 handcuffs. Whether or not you could mold it to fit uh, your specific handcuffs, I don't know. The box didn't really come with that much instructions. Um, as for the brand, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, it's Phobus. Um, they specialize in uh, all kinds of different holsters, I believe, including weapon, uh, like pistol, 
duty carry holsters, um, concealed carry holsters, all kinds of different things. Um, I'm sure you could look them up and uh, find out uh, what other products they sell. Um, as for where I got this, as I said, uh, Handcuff Warehouse, I'll provide a link um, to where I got it. Um, I believe it's in the 20 to $30 and change price range, um, which isn't bad for this style holster. So overall, I am uh, happy with this holster. If it did not fit, um, or sorry, if I only had the M100 style handcuffs, I'd either have to see if I could uh, do something about adjusting it, uh, which would obviously in involve molding the actual case itself. But as it stands, I use my M300 handcuffs in it, and it works just fine. So it is a recommended buy. Um, just kind of an overview to get a look at the actual um, case itself if you decide to buy it. Um, so yeah, that's the Phobus uh, handcuff case plastic from Handcuff Warehouse. Thanks for watching.